joke where he pretends to be God. Okay, next question. <laughs> Peter, so on the path of becoming self-realized, we realize subtle things like being able to see subtle entities, or is no, this no, no. Altogether? no, 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 that's mysticism. That's that's yoga mishra bhakti. Yoga mishra bhakti is especially dangerous because it deals in all these kind of subtle things, huh? the different um, cities and stuff like that being able to see subtle things and what this all this mental platform stuff and it's it's all very very deluding uh, because it masquerades as being spiritual but it's actually not spiritual the subtle plane or the astral plane or whatever you want to call it the mental plane it's just material why because it's not eternal it has a beginning and an end. Maybe it lasts longer than, you know, gross material things, but ultimately it's always finished. So this subtle knowledge or mystical knowledge or, or yogic powers or any of this stuff, this is all a waste of time. Try to understand. It's a waste of time. Huh? You don't even want to go there. You don't even want to start... Just like, you know, that famous uh, saying when somebody said, Prabhupada, when I chant the Hare Krishna mantra, I start seeing beautiful blue and purple lights. Prabhupada said, just keep chanting, this will go away. (laughs) So try to understand, Prabhupada placed zero value on this mystical stuff. In fact, it has negative value because it distracts us from devotional service. Uh, and it can, it can uh, fool our minds into thinking we're making advancement. But the actual advancement is developing bhava. Bhava is transcendental emotion. Uh, and it's much more satisfying than these mystical powers being able to see through walls or whatever, you know? I mean, what kind of, you know, it's, it might be interesting for an afternoon, but after that, you get tired of it. Who cares what the neighbors are doing anyway? Huh? It's all nonsense. So if we have a real spiritual advancement, means that we are developing transcendental emotions for Krishna. Our relationship with Krishna is becoming uh, clear. Uh, We can see with transcendental vision what is our heart's relationship with Krishna. That's real spiritual advancement. Uh, Not this knowledge, not this mystic power, uh, not this, you know, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound or any great uh, money or, or wealth or fame or any of that stuff. Let Krishna have all of that stuff. He knows how to, how to deal with it much better than we do. Huh? Let us simply be servants of Krishna. We love Krishna and all our activities are dedicated for his pleasure. And that's real Uttama Bhakti. Huh? And then it's so simple. It's so easy. Anybody can do it. It doesn't require big qualifications or lot of knowledge or any of that. All we have to know is that Krishna is our friend and we love him and we serve him. We don't need to have all this uh, complicated knowledge. So uh, the, the, uh, the devotees in Goloka Vrindavan, they just love Krishna and they serve him automatically because of this love. They don't need to know that he's God. That's conditional love. Oh, I'll love Krishna if he's God. And if he's not God, then I don't care. That's not, that's not bhakti. See? I don't, we don't love Krishna because he's God. 
We love Krishna because he has an abundance of transcendental qualities. He's a very exalted soul. Huh? And if he so happens to be God, well, that's all right too. But we don't really care about that. Huh? Actually, Krishna he doesn't create the material universes or have anything to do with uh, power or any of that stuff. He's just always on vacation enjoying with his friends in Vrindavan. I mean, that's what I would do if I was, if I was God. Huh? I'd create another God and say, okay, you create the universes. I'm going on vacation. Right? See you later. That's what Krishna does. Who wants to be God? It's a lot of work, you know. You have to keep up with what everybody's doing. And, I mean, really, even if you have, even if you have infinite potency, you know, but who wants to do all that? I mean, it's boring. So, <laughs> really, God, Krishna is beyond God. Huh? What is Krishna? Who knows? Huh? But we love him. He's so beautiful and he has all attractive qualities. Huh? So we just love Krishna. We don't care what he is or any of that stuff. We just serve him because when we do, we are happy. I mean, it's so simple. Any more questions? No? Wore him out finally, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, D. D, D, D. Namaste Narasimhaya Namaste Narasimhaya Pralanda Raga Dayane Pralanda Raga
Shabad Rita, Narayana Rupa, Jai Jagadish Hare.